The one thing that you will hear, which I've heard before, is my clients are like, I'm willing to pay whatever. So you just tell me how much it costs. Okay. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. If you are interested in learning more about event business, how to construct maybe a balloon business, or just in general of getting advice and feeling inspired to get started on your creative skill, then hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss out. In today's video, I am going to unveil my secret tips on how to start an event design business because your girl had to relaunch her balloon business after I left my nine to five. And if you haven't watched this video right here, make sure you click that video after this to really understand what it's like leaving your nine to five because it's not all butterflies and roses. I give the ugly truth. <laughs> Because I had to relaunch my balloon business, I had to start from scratch and recreate what my inspiring designs was into an entire separate business so that way I kept my coaching and inspiring designers different from my actual balloon business. And let me tell y'all, I will say that I was able to book $1,000 within my first month of relaunching everything. If you need help getting started with your event business, joining Design Your Dream Society might be ideal for you because we turn your creative side hustle into a real business with giving you monthly lessons at an affordable price. You cannot get this anywhere else. I have literally relaunched my business and used the exact same tactics that I share in the monthly membership. So if you're interested, feel free to click down below. So speaking of DYD Society, we had our first monthly call in earlier this month of September 2021 and it was pretty powerful because some of my designers really came on and had really great questions. However, a lot of them are just getting started or have figured out how to get some clients in the door, but they're struggling with pushing forward their business. A lot of my designers don't know where to get started or they'll get the momentum and then they'll lose it. So I'm going to give you some tips in this video on how you can get started and keep that momentum going. But just know, this is not going to be easy. It's going to be a challenge. The hardest part about starting a business is to do it. It's not learning through this video. So if you're just sitting at home watching videos and not really taking action, you're never going to take action. I don't want to get you guys stuck. I want you to absorb the information, but actually implement it. People in DYD society struggle with that too, and I don't want you to make the same mistake. So, if you're interested in learning how I was able to get money in the door in my balloon business and what I shared with DYD society, feel free to keep watching. So the first tip on how to start an event designing business is going to be the most uncomfortable tip out of all the tips. And if you stay to the end, this first tip will actually circle back into the last one. So it will all make sense once you keep watching. So make sure you watch the whole thing. So the first thing you need to do in order to start an event designing business, in order to start generating money in your business is you have to be comfortable with saying no to clients who aren't the right fit. Now, hold on, don't leave. I know it's not pretty. That's not why I'm here. I'm not here to make it all pretty and fluffy and I'm giving it to you raw and real. You have to start saying no. Yes, I'm talking to you. <laughs> so why should you start saying no right away even before you make money? Well, the first things first, it creates boundaries between your clients and you as the business owner. A lot of people in the beginning stages of starting an event designing business will say yes to anything and everything. And I understand why, because you don't, you're not used to getting money. So it's like, oh my goodness, somebody's willing to pay. Yes, I'll do it all. No. Say no first and then you can say yes. Now, don't get me wrong. I know what it's like to not have money coming in and you need money in order to survive. That's when desperate really meets in the middle of success. But you don't need that vibration in your business. You actually have to do the opposite. And I knew coming in that it was going to be hard for me to start from scratch and to start saying no to people who are going to ask me for discounts. It's almost inevitable in the beginning stages of your business. When you say no to your clients who aren't or non-clients who aren't a good fit for your business, it creates room for dream clients. And I'm going to share some screenshots of the dream clients that have come into the door of my business where I was able to book 
a thousand dollars within a month you want to make sure you get aligned with the type of clients that you want so many times i hear designers like nobody wants to pay people don't want to pay my prices they're always asking for discounts Honey, it's not about them, it's all about you. When people don't wanna pay, you're sending out that vibration to them. People feel things. We can't describe it, but we know when someone's not genuine or truthful or when someone's desperate and needy. And if you're like that, it will literally leak all in your business and that creates desperate measures where you're basically asking clients and begging them for their money when in actuality you need to stay stuck in who you really are and who you are trying to become in order to get the clients that you want i knew my business was not going to take anything less than my bare minimum and my clients right here is an example they are chasing me that's the clients i want i want people to chase me i want people to really don't even have to work about anything else they are willing to pay whatever i choose to send them that's the clientele i want and that's the clientele now i get but it all starts from saying no so make sure you're saying no a few more times than you're saying yes and have some little resistance don't be scared to get rejected you're going to it's going to happen it's part of the process and you feel it you observe it and you release and let it go and then more blessings will come in your way the next tip when it comes to starting an event business is to price your designs for profit i know i've said this multiple times but i don't think people get it <laughs> so i'm gonna say it a little more in depth in this video remember i am not giving you a fluffy recommendation what I am going to give you is the truth. You have to keep track of your numbers. What money is coming in, what money is going out. The reason why you're not getting paid what you want and you're not making the money that you deserve is because you're not keeping track and managing your money for your business. When you price your designs for profit, that money that's left over, you now get to decide what you want to do. Do you want to reinvest it into your business by getting maybe another backdrop or a cake stand or extra balloons for a mock setup? That money is yours. Or you can just go out and have fun. Get a coffee, go to a spa. Obviously save for taxes and all that but you get to utilize this money the way you want instead of going under and taking money out of your personal account to compensate for the price of your designs there's something different that when you don't have any other streams of income like a nine to five job you can't settle for anything less than what you deserve i know that to be true i don't have time to sit here and deal with people who are asking for discounts i need to live they want something i'm able to deliver it and point blank period that's how it's done the next tip i want to share with you on how to start an event designing business and what really helped me with my balloon business and getting started is talking about your business to everyone now here's a fun fact if you've been following my journey i had stopped doing balloon business for a while now and my family and friends all knew that i had stopped because they stopped asking me for balloon for their events this is the most simple simple task that you can do for your business and yet nobody does it. Most designers will do this. They will actually wait for their clients to come to them. Why are you waiting? Why don't you just create the momentum for your business and then clients will now chase you? I'm still in the beginning where I have to go out there and create the momentum for myself. And the more effort I put into it now, the more clients I get. The less effort I put into it, the less clients I get. Same goes true for you. Your first clients are going to come from word of mouth. And that really holds true with whoever you're speaking to and how, what they know you're doing or developing when it comes to your event business. Now, do you want to know how to know if you're actually discussing your business with the people around you? Here's a trick. How many people come up to you and tell you, hey, such and such, I told my friend that you have a balloon business hey such and such i was mentioning to my coworker, you know that they need cakes for their event that they should hit you up that's how you know you're talking enough about your business see my family does it all the time and it just reassures me that i'm talking about my business often in order for them to help me get business into the door always note that people have to see your work or 
hear your work or even know your work that exists at least 10 times to even consider you. Even to consider you, that does not mean to book you. That probably has to be like 3,000 more times before they actually book. Just know that if you don't talk about your business, your business will not get clients. Stop being ashamed of you just getting started or I'm just in the beginning. Who cares? If you have something that people are willing to pay and if you have something that people can't do, talk about it. Stop staying scared and stuck into believing that, oh, nobody's gonna pay my prices. Don't even put that mantra in your vocabulary. Why are you even saying those words? Talk about your business and be confident. Put those shoulders back and be like, hey, mom, I'm doing a balloon business. If you know anyone who has balloons, feel free to let them know and follow my page. Simple. Someone asks us how you're doing, your part of your vocabulary should be, things are going great, my business is taking off, I'm creating designs, da 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 Okay? No excuses. In Design Your Dream Society, which is, again, my monthly memberships, some designers of that membership tend to not know their client's budget. So this is our next tip. You need to know your client's budget. And I'm gonna tell you the reasons why it's important for your business. A lot of designers feel like, oh, their clients are interviewing me, they're asking all the questions. No, honey you're interviewing them too. They have to be a good fit for your business just like you have to be a good fit for their events. And that's why you need to know if their budget is aligned with your business. Do not take something yes just because they're your first clients. Do not take something that's cheap just because you've never done it before. Have confidence in what you have to deliver and allow time for progression and for you to make mistakes and fail and get better. Because when you allow that, more things will come into your life. You'll feel more confident. You'll be able to charge more. And you'll be willing to be more forgiving. Not stay stuck into not doing anything in your business. Knowing a client's budget can actually determine who you're attracting for your business. This is huge. Because this shows you, am I attracting the right people in my business? And if I'm not, and if I'm always getting people who are asking discounts, you're doing something wrong. Stop blaming your clients for not wanting to pay. Instead, turn it around and take ownership for how you're running your business. Are your pictures good? Do you post often? Do you talk about your business? Do you do the things to create a feeling, a client experience for your business in order to book the right clients? Some of y'all gonna be like, yes, yes, yes. And then when I go on your pages, no. Okay, be honest with yourself and really understand that whatever you put out there sells. If you put out cheap designs, if you put out low quality pictures, if you put out things that just don't represent a high quality service, you're going to get cheap clients. Dollar Tree attracts a certain crowd versus Lamborghinis. Think about it. Who are you attracting? Person's budget usually indicates that. The one thing that you will hear, which I've heard before, is my clients are like, I'm willing to pay whatever, so you just tell me how much it costs. Okay. <laughs> it's like, yes ma'am, yes sir, I'll be willing to do that for you. <laughs> this tip, knowing a client's budget, brings us back to the first tip that I mentioned in this video. In order to know that someone's budget is aligned with yours, that's when you say yes. But if it's not, if it's not aligned with your designs, if it's too low, you have to go back to tip number one, and that's saying no. Sorry, I cannot do this design for your event. If you have a higher budget, feel free to let us know, period. You're not making money because you're not doing anything, or you're doing things that don't make you money. If you need that help, make sure to hit that link down below. Join DYD Society, check out the page, see if it's a good fit for for you and we can get this ball rolling we have monthly calls together you get monthly lessons as long as you're a member you'll get bonus you know material as well so i'm going to be throwing more out there for my designers so if you're interested feel free to click that link down below all right designers that is all i have left for you these are the proven tips that i've used to generate money in my business within a month of relaunching my balloon business it has worked but I'm letting you know right now, it doesn't matter how much you're absorbing the information, it matters of how much you're taking action. Those who take action will see results. They'll get clients in the door. They'll make mistakes, but they'll keep going. Those who just research, write notes, and do things that are not generating them sales won't make a business out of it. It'll just be a, an expensive side hustle. And I don't want that for you. If you're ready to get started, click the link down below to join Design Your Dream Society. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.
kind of went hard in this video because I'm just so passionate. <laughs> Make that money. You deserve it. You deserve it all. <laughs>